If you were anything like me, you spent your childhood in the warm glow of the TV, beating up digital cars and raising evil chows. Your parents looking on at you, unhappy with your life choices, and they would eventually sign you up to some fitness-based activity, and in my case, it was something called Taekwondo. Okay, first off, I didn't even know what Taekwondo was. It sounded painful, but that didn't stop my parents from signing me up to a class. I found out the first lesson that it was a form of martial arts, and actually, it was pretty good fun. We had to like learn patterns for defense and attack and spar with other people, aka punch and kick them with some gloves on, which was apparently good for the mind, body, and soul. Now, I'm not sure doing push-ups on a hardwood floor with your bare knuckles was good for any of those things, but it did teach me this, to give our instructor a carpet store brochure. Yep, so there you go. Apparently now this is one of my hobbies. I do Taekwondo. Not that I wanted to, but you know, it was a bit of fun. So I did it at weekends and after school. So in one of the classes, we had a student teacher while the main teacher was off doing some private training thing or something. She was the same age as me and was like a black belt in karate. And I'm pretty sure she was a black belt in Taekwondo as well. Or she was super high up, either or. And then there was me with my lamed, stupid white starter belt, trying not to make a total fool out of myself. She was a really good teacher, and also she was super cute. So obviously I messed everything up, and looked like even more of a noob because I was trying super hard to impress her and failing miserably. <laughs> well isn't that the story of my life? Regardless of all that stupidity, I for some reason decided I was going to try and ask her out. What a terrible, terrible idea. Terrible idea. Where did it come from? Terrible is where it came from. The land of terrible. So after the class, I walked over to her, oozing with confidence and romantic vibes radiating from my human body, and said, Hey, impressive class. How's about me and you go out sometime? Ha! No. More like, I waddled up to her, stood there sweating more than I had done the entire lesson, and then was trying to make words line up in a row and escape my mouth so she could understand them. Right at the point when everybody turned around, the lights went off, a spotlight came on, the cameras start recording... Okay, well, people just turned around and looked, but it still felt like that. Uh, so, um, yeah, your lesson was good, uh, good, um, things, numbers, sweaty. Huh? What? Who said that? Huh? So, um, uh, yeah, uh, good lesson. Can I have your number, please? Uh, what? <laughs> Could I have your number, please? Sure. Yeah. Uh, what? Who? What? Uh, yeah, cool, uh, uh great, um, paper, uh, uh, hi hi uh here's some paper. No, that's a lie. I think I had pre-written my number on a piece of paper to give to her to ensure I did not forget my own number, because that was blatantly going to happen. Now that I look back, I bet I look like a major creep carrying around my own number written on a piece of paper in my pocket. Oh well, creep or no creep, it worked. So then we ended up talking. Sup, do you like stuff? Yeah, stuff's cool. And somehow, after a few days, we officially ended up going out. Now, we used to spar together in the Taekwondo class. I didn't want to hit a girl before this, but now this girl was my girlfriend. So I tried to avoid actually hitting her at all. Until the teacher kept saying, Stop letting feelings get in the way of your training. So really, we had no choice but to hit each other. I mean, she was a lot better than me, so I didn't hit her that much. But, you know, we really didn't want to hit each other very hard, as we didn't want to walk around with a partner with a black eye. Then again, we actually broke up two weeks after. However, now there was a bigger problem. We were still in the same Taekwondo class together and would still have to spar. Now remember how before I said we never tried to hit each other? Or if we did, it was lightly. Yeah, that was now not a thing. I still tried not to hit her, but she transformed into a hurricane of power and knowledge and would beat me up as much as humanly possible before the bell would ring. <laughs> Game. Turns out she then went out with another guy in the class, to which I had no problem with, but then this guy instantly hated me now, so he was trying to spar with me as much as possible and prove that he was better, and then that meant he was trying to beat me up as well. So yeah, that was fun. I ended up quitting Taekwondo not long after, mainly because we had to learn tons of Korean and detail patterns and stuff, and I had other stuff to preoccupy my time. And also, punched and kicked by your ex-girlfriend and her new boyfriend was not something it said on the sign-up sheet. Oh wait. Ignore me. So while I was doing Taekwondo, we would go to these things called gradings, which were like exams, where you would be tested on a load of stuff, and then they would let you move up to the next belt if you passed, and one person each time would get picked for being the best grader. Right, I know my ward is in here somewhere, so I'm going to find it. Uh, nope, Nerf gun. Uh, Dove, ooh, Dove beer. Uh, ooh, baseball. Nope, uh, what's this? Uh, no idea who that guy is. Uh, Batman mask? It's Batman. Nope, that ain't it. Uh, what about this thing? Uh, uh, wait. I don't think it's in here. My only award! My only award! What am I gonna do? 
Will you help a poor man-child like Danny? With your help, we can give him an award. Want to finally make his parents proud of him. Something that can finally sit on the empty shelf that is currently collecting dust and sadness. Only you can save this poor, crying loser. Click subscribe below, and with your help, we can reach 100,000 YouTube subscribers. And finally, give this giant loser something to feel special about. <laughs> ah, shut up! So there we have it, that is the first animation that I have done for 2019 and it's about me being beaten up by my ex-girlfriend. Yep, what a good way to start the year. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed that one and I hope you guys are having a great start to 2019. I'm looking forward to this year, it's going to be an awesome year for you guys hopefully and for myself as well. I've got some good plans and some really cool stories coming up and I hope you guys are looking forward to that. I'm super buzzing, super pumped for this year. So yep, thank you for all the amazing fan art. I appreciate every single piece of fan art that I get and that's why I like to feature it at the end of the video. A little thank you to my friend Amy for voicing my ex-girlfriend in the video because I can't do a girl's voice whatsoever. It just turns into something like this and no girl in the world sounds like this. So yeah, <laughs> I, I've just accepted my limits on that one. So thank you, Amy, for your help. And that's about it from me. I'm going to stop talking and I will see you guys hopefully in the next one. See ya!